Welcome back everyone. My name is Josh Kinney and in this tutorial we'll be discussing how to use a tab view within Swift UI, wrapping the tab view in a navigation view where we can access that navigation view title in each of the screens. So let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, we already have uh, Xcode open. Go ahead and hit next on that new app. We're gonna name this Swift UI tab view. That's what we'll be working with. Hit next. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Create, select your location to save it. And then here we go. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger to give myself some room. All right, there we go. And we'll get rid of this since we don't need it right now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go up here and create a new file. Now you want to have a good folder structure, but in this um, video, I'm just going to focus on the actual files themselves. But yes, you would like to make a view model folder, a views folder, um, and so on, and, and then sort your code out throughout those. Uh, but again, in this one, we're just going to go really quick with it and make the files and stick all the files underneath the same Swift UI tab view folder. So let's go ahead and get that going. So the first one we want to do is a Swift UI view. And we're going to go ahead and hit create. And inside here, we're, this is going to be um, the first tab of the tab view. So we're going to have the tab view at the bottom. And we're going to have three tabs, home, settings, and friends. So this is going to be the home view. So, well, you can see I did not rename that. So we're going to make this, call this home view. We're going to name this home view here. And then inside here is where we're going to pass this. So we're just going to go ahead and add a V stack. Inside the V stack, we're going to add some uh, an image first. Well, it's going to be the system name. And we're going to name this house because that house is the image that we're trying to find and we're going to go ahead and fill that as well so house fill underneath that we're going to go ahead and add a text and we're going to say this is the home view great so we'll go ahead and hit resume there oh we got to re rename this too since i didn't do that in the beginning and I'm gonna go ahead and do this as well. Just name this home view. Build, that should succeed. There we go, now let's hit resume here. And we should see, great, we have a home, we have this home view. Now just to make this a little bit nicer looking, I'm going to do a resizable. Underneath that, I'm gonna add a frame. And the frame width and height, I'm going to do 60. By 60 you can keep it center or you can get rid of the alignment whatever you'd like to do and then add some padding to all of it um, and that looks a little bit nicer uh, just so it's kind of spaced out cool um, I'm also going to change the seventh generation to the 12 Pro Max make that a little smaller for you guys okay now um, and I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit so it's above my head there um, so we're going to do this three times. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this V stack and we're going to make two more files. So new file, we're going to name this one settings view. And then inside here, we're going to paste that V stack and we're just going to rename this to gear and gear doesn't have a fill. So just name it gear. Um, 60 60 great and this is the settings view all right we'll hit resume there and that should look decent there perfect um, then we're going to do it one more time and this is going to be friends view again same thing paste that change this Friends, now I forget what that's called, so I'm gonna show you guys on this. SF Symbols, I highly recommend you guys download this so you can go with the symbols. And I already have it pulled up here. It's this person three fill, and then we're gonna use person three without the fill for the tab view. So let's go ahead and copy the name. Go in here and paste that. 
person's three fill great there's that this is the friends view awesome so we'll go ahead and resume that there and make sure that that's working great uh, uh working sorry um and it is it's a little stretch but that's okay we get the point so now let's go back into our content view and let's start working on this so we're going to pass all three of those in here but the pass those first off we need a tab view so it's crazy easy to add a tab view you literally just do tab view and then inside the tab view you you want to pass those so we're going to pass the first one which is home view pass the second one which is settings and pass the third one which is friends view now we'll go ahead and run this and see what we get so we have the view down here and you can actually click on these and it works however you don't see anything so we're going to change that by um, adding the actual uh, tab item here so after this we go ahead and hit dot tab item and inside here you can add that code to do whatever we want so we're gonna do a label if I knew how to spell label and then we're gonna name it give it a name so it's gonna be home and then after that you want to put a comma and then you want to actually do this pass in that system image colon and then from there you want to pass in whatever we want to use we're going to use the house instead of filling it this time we'll just do house okay now we're going to do this three times so go ahead and copy this if you want to save some time and then here do this again and then do it again here great now we're going to of course rename this to settings rename this to friends gear and this is going to be that people view and I keep forgetting that I'm, I apologize guys that is person dot three there we go all right so run that real quick and see what's going on so you have it down here great um, now you have your images and now everything's working so that is basically a tab view Pretty simple to implement that you do you made your actual views and literally in six lines of code seven lines of code you were able to create this I think that's pretty awesome now we need to work on the navigation title so whenever you click on a tab you want this to say home settings or friends so let's look at that so before what I was finding out is I can go down here and add a navigation title pretty easy you just do dot navigation title and then name it whatever you want so I'm going to name it home. I'm going to hit run and you're going to see home. Perfect. But if you go to settings, it stays home. We want that to change each time. So I worked with this. You know, I tried putting the navigation title in each of these and I wasn't successful with any of those. Um, the only way I could get it to actually work is to add this navigation view in each of these views, which isn't the correct way of doing it until I found a way. And that is doing it like this. So up here, we're going to make an enum. We're going to name this tabs of type string and then in here we're going to name three cases you can guess home settings and friends okay and then you want to go ahead and make um, inside your tab view you can make a a selected or selection and what that means, well, if I didn't spell that right, is what whenever the tab is clicked, that's the selection, so it grabs that. And we can pass in a variable here. So let's go ahead and make a state variable. Call that selected tab. Make that of type tabs. And then set that to you want it to be dot home and I'll show you why but we're going to start off by making a dot friends okay now inside here we can pass that now from the selection so we're gonna do the dollar sign selected tab so now whenever the selected is, is um, clicked whatever we're saving 
it's going to go up and actually change this selected tab to that. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, inside of here, we can access a property now with the, the tag property. And we can name this the tabs dot whatever we want. So this is going to be home. And we're going to do the same thing two more times. So down here, we're going to do dot settings. And then, of course, friends. Oops. Okay, now, so whenever you click on it, it's going to set this selected tab to tab.friends, which tab.friends is friends, tab.settings, settings, and so on. Now, you'll notice one thing these are not capitalized because when you make enums, you're not supposed, they're not supposed to be capitalized. They need to be lowercase like this. So whenever they, whenever we preview them over here, they're going to be lowercase, and I'll show you what I mean. So now we can access the navigation title, and we can do this by doing the selected tab, because we're updating that each time we we select one of those tabs with the selection. Um, we want it to be the raw value. So now let's go ahead and run this, and we'll see right here. Boom! Friends starts, and it's lowercase. So we don't want it to start over here. That's not how an app works when you open it up. You want it to be all the way over to the very left side. And so we want it to be home. The next thing you see is all of these are lowercase because our enums are lowercase. So we don't want to capitalize this, but we can fix that very easily by doing the dot capitalize. Okay, and then up here, we're going to change this to home. So it's the very first selection. So go ahead and run that again and you'll see home capitalized settings capitalized and now friends capitalized so that is how you pass in with only one navigation view it's just wrapped in all of these so you don't got to pass four five six of them depending on how many tabs you have um you only pass one and now they can access that navigation title and change throughout each tab so i hope that was beneficial and that's going to do it for this video guys if this was helpful for you definitely hit that bell button so you can see my upcoming content if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And as always, hit that subscribe so you can subscribe to the channel and get my content out to others. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.